All praise be to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS, who rule well. And uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is uh, GMS Arkansas. Stop and listen. As we always do, in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, trying to keep further this truth. According to Esau's calendar, this is 2017, the year of death. So, um, the scripture I want to read, because you have a lot of people, um, they they uh, pose a question, like when you're telling them that the Lord is going to destroy America with thermonuclear missiles, right? And you won't be able to escape. And they look at us like, well, what are you going to do, right? But the scripture tells you in Mark 9 that some of us that's here won't taste death. You know? So, um, they seem to be strange when you tell them that the Lord is going to um, take us up in ships, man. It's like they don't believe it. You know, a salaki. <laughs> I'm going to read this. Uh, let's see here. Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. That salvation... It's coming when your Howard shot comes back with what we call uh, chariots, you know. He saw them call them UFOs, but we know them to be identified as the chariots. And when they come, the said the Lord is coming in Revelation 1 and 7, he coming through clouds and all eyes shall see him. Right? Um, I'm, I can get that too. Let's get, read that. That's a good scripture. Let's read that also. Revelations 1 Revelations 1 and 7 Behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him being those Roman soldiers it says and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him even so a month so a lot of people going to well when they see how about Shem Yahweh Shai it's going to be fearful. It's going to be a terrible sight, you know, because a lot of things are going to be going on. You're going to be having, uh, and you're going to be in the midst of the uh, nuclear destruction of the Third World War. So it's going to, people are going to be frightened. And when they see, it says the strangers of the salvation, because certain men, which are the elect, uh, eclectos, the chosen, the, uh, the uh, chosen ones, the excellent ones, you know, um, the best of that kind, they will be beamed up into these ships. And it's going to be strange to these people, these two thirds and these other nations, to see certain people being beamed up and their bodies being changed going up in the air. It's going to be strange. That's, that's a miracle of the Lord, man. You know, um, because, you know, people ain't never seen it before. You saw it on TV, but when it comes live, and then direct, you know what I'm saying? Right in front of your face, it's gonna be strange, man. They say it's gonna be a, a terrible fear. Because once them ships leave, right? Once they disappear, then who's left? What, it's, it's gonna be a uh, uh, missile food, man. Okay, this is um, 1 Thessalonians 4. And Bible is falling apart. First Thessalonians 4 and 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren. Meaning to not understand. Concerning them which are asleep. Right? The ones who are deceased. That ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. 
right? Which the, the ones who sorrow, the ones who don't have confidence and faith, who don't know about the salvation, right? They grieve and sorrow at the people that are deaf, that are put to death. We are actually, you know, we are the uh, brothers who are in the truth, the elect brothers, Lord willing, you know, I'm one of them brothers, and also the brothers who are other brothers who are laboring, Lord willing, these brothers are part of it, you know, because brothers are doing a diligent work, going out and pushing his word, and, you know, doing these videos and whatnot, that we are actually uh, happy when, when brothers can do this work, if the Lord take you away, that's a beautiful thing, because you're now with him, you know, you, you've completed your mission, right, and it's going to tell in the scriptures more about them brothers who are deceased, their their role in this, but that's a good thing when brothers do the work, hey, if the Lord take you, take your um, spirit, bring you back to the spirit world before your house shall come back, that's a good thing, man, it's not nothing to grieve over, you know, it says, Verse 14, for if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will God bring with him. So we believe that he rose, uh, died and rose. It says when he returned, he going to bring back the believers who died, uh, the believers who have died also. And you know, thanks to our elders, the apostles they have uh schooled us on certain men that taught them like king uh uh masha he's he's uh in the spirit world uh yaiqua spirit world abba Bivin spirit world these are um teachers man you know the, the anchors they are they're in the spirit world you you have uh Since uh, the Lord has woke me up to the truth, uh, we have Von Lawyer, you know, is passed in the truth. Um, the brother in Atlanta, I never knew his name, he passed while being in the truth. And the brother that was used to be in the Dallas camp, uh, the big dark skinned brother who used to read real loud, he passed since I've been in the truth. So it's the Lord's will, you know, if, if, hey, it's this Lord's will, hey, we'll see those guys again, you know. And it says, verse 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep, All right? It's basically saying we will not meet uh, meet the Lord before them. I'm going to look that word prevent up. Because that's, that's the key word in that scripture. Prevent. Prevent. Okay. It's First uh, Thessalonians 4. And 15. I'm going to read that again. It says... For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall not prevent them which are asleep. Prevent. Uh, Greek 5348. Uh, Fathano. Fathano. Strong's definition. To be beforehand, that is, to proceed, have arrived at, to obtain, to come. The blue letter, one, to come before, proceed, to anticipate, two, to come, two, arrive at, to reach, obtain, two, three, right? So it's saying that we want, we want, uh, they're going to actually come before us. They're going to be already on the ships. And it says, for verse 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, that shout is a command. The Lord is going to descend with the angels, right? He's going to descend uh, with 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 a with a, a multitudes and multitudes of chariots, man, and a, and a, a elite fighting force of chariots. 
with the voice of the archangel. He's going to be with the chief angel, uh, Michael. And with the trump of God, right? Which this trump will be the uh, last trump, you know? Because after this, won't be any more, you know? And the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first, right? It says the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first, man. You know? Um... This is like when you go into Matthew 24, it speaks of the same thing because who's the Lord coming to get right here when he come back? His main purpose is to come back and pick up. I'll show it to you right here in Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 30. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven when you see the chariots. And then shall all of the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. You know, it says, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, that last trump, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other, from all the way from the east to the west, they're gonna gather the elect, the elect, eclectos, you know, the chosen, the, the, the um, you know, matter of fact, I'm gonna give you some Matthew. Twenty-four and thirty-one. Elect Greek fifteen eighty-eight. Eclectos, picked out, chosen, chosen by the Most High, one to obtain salvation through Yahweh Shai. Because if it's not elect, you know you have two-thirds of our people. Uh, they just not gonna get right. They're wicked. They have. They have. Uh, uh, sin and they have not came back so if it wouldn't be for the Lord saving a remnant it wouldn't be no more Israel because he's getting ready to destroy two thirds so that elect is there so we can bring back the two thirds that get destroyed we can populate our nation back you know this is a uh, 1 Corinthians First Corinthians 15 1 Corinthians 15 and 51 says behold I will show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we all shall be changed verse 52 in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise incorruptible and we shall be changed because we have to be changed in order to go up in those chariots man these bodies we in right now this is a flesh this flesh body man this is body of sin it can't in inherit the kingdom of heaven it has to be changed over to incorruptible we have to have basically new bodies, man. And it says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality, meaning we will never die again. You know? So, back to Thessalonians. Back to Thessalonians. 417 then we which are alive and remain shall be called up together with them with Yahweh Shai and the 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 uh the dead in 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 Yahweh Shai the ones who believe the believers who passed on they're going to be on them ships with them in the clouds because the Lord is coming with ships in the clouds man to meet the Lord in the air because we're going to encounter with the Lord in the air man you know, when you see Star Trek, um, you see how uh, Captain Kirk used to say, beam me up, Scotty. 
and basically uh, uh, they would step in a certain place and then that, that tube of light would come down and then it would dematerialize their bodies to nothing and then that light would shine somewhere else and it would rematerialize their bodies again and then you know back then Esau knew they knew about uh, the spiritual powers of the Lord back then because they put it in movies all the time you know and it says um, and then like when they said beam me up sometimes they would be somewhere else then also they would get beamed up into the ship then that ship would be where in the air um, it says to meet the Lord in the air right in the atmosphere and so shall we ever be with the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. wherefore comfort one another with these words so we must encourage and strengthen each other with these words man you know these are pure words you know so we must comfort each other you know so hey man I just hope that was edifying and if you um, brothers want to see uh, more edification on this particular uh, topic which because I, I had planned to do this like about, uh, maybe four or five days ago and the spirit had me last night I got a chance to see uh, the brother Kazak in Mississippi he did like a video just like almost the same thing but he went a little bit more brought out a few more scriptures so if you want to get edified more uh, I suggest you go to Hasten the Coming the name of his video is uh, the uh, the immor the, the mortal shall put on immortality I think that's the name of it the uh, mortal, mortal shall put on immortality he's by the beach so he went a little bit more in depth brought out a few more scriptures which is edifying so if you want to get edified more i suggest you go over there to the brother kazak page hasten the coming hey and with that man all praise be how about shim y'all shy double honors to the apostles and elders of gms and peace and blessings to the whole field elect hey shalom